Dragonflies are amazing insects. They are the first winged insect to evolve some 300 million years ago. And they are the expert flyers. They symbolize change, transformation, adaptability and self-realization. Let us know more about these wonderful creatures around us. Dragonflies are brilliant insects with beautiful jewel-like coloring. They can move at a high speed over like a helicopter, fly backwards like a hummingbird, fly straight up, down and on either side. One species called Pentala flavescens flies across an ocean during migration logging around 18,000 kilometers and snagging the title of the world's longest insect migration. They live on every continent except Antarctica. Fossils of very large dragonfly ancestors are found from 325 million years ago. These had a wingspan up to 750 millimeter. This picture depicts the uh, migration of Pentala. Dragonflies are predators both in their aquatic larval stage as well as in adult stage. They catch while flying. There are more than 5000 known species of dragonflies. There are certain differences between a dragon and a damselfly. So here explains it. That is the dragonfly's wings spread out at rest. But in damselfly, the wings usually held together. In dragonflies, the forewings and hind wings are of unequal size. But in damselfly, they are of approximately same size. Dragonflies have a strong and robust body. Whereas the damselflies have a slender and fragile body. In dragonflies, the eyes are held together, but in damselfly, the eyes are widely apart. About the ordinate diversity, in world around 6,256 species were identified. In India, 503 species and in Kerala, 170 species. Dr. Fraser is considered as father of odonatology. An adult dragonfly has three body segments, namely head, thorax and abdomen. It has a chitinous exoskeleton. Head is dominated by two compound eyes and are made up of ometidia. They have 360 degree vision with just one blind spot directly behind them. We can say that extraordinary vision they possess. Their antennae are too short. They have two pairs of transparent wings and also have uh, incredible sharp mandible that is a mouth part which is used to kill the prey. They belong, dragonflies belongs to the class Insecta, order Odonata and suborder or infraorder Anisoptera. Damsels also belongs to the same order but uh, they belongs to the suborder Psygoptera. This is about its biological classification. In larval stage, they have aquatic uh, which uh, last up to six, two years. Uh, they eat just about anything, uh, mosquitoes, uh, tadpoles, fishes and other insects larvae. Some species may stay in their larval stage for up to six years. They will molt uh, up to 17 times and get ready to head to the surface and transform into the dragonfly we see in the air. The flight of dragonfly is so special that it has inspired engineers who dream of making uh, robots that fly like dragonflies. Here is that uh, robot dragonfly depicted picture. They have a uniquely complex mode of reproduction. 
during mating they form a heart or a wheel poster odonates require fresh water ecosystem for their survival like ponds lakes rivers streams etc they also require stable oxygen levels and clean water scientists consider them reliable bio indicators of water quality in rivers because they rely on high quality of water for proper development in early life odonates are very sensitive to changes to average temperatures many species have moved to higher elevations and latitudes as global temperature rises and habitats dry out they have such a complete fossil record and are in an ideal species to study insect evolution as well as adaptation they inspire us to create new technology from drones to artificial visual systems based on their incredible skills at flight and vision we can do in return the favor is support the conservation of their habitat i got an opportunity to attend a webinar conducted by society for odonate studies and received a lot of information from experts in the field like dr david raju dr subramanian sir shri balachandran sir mr vivek chandran mr sujit mohan etc it was a really a wonderful session their research work uh, details were actually a repository for the coming future generations and uh, here i would like to say the excellent photograph shown here are provided by members of uh, society for odonate studies uh, especially advocate jeffin john uh, govin girija and uh, shri harigrishan sir and many more members of sos family also i especially thank all those members for providing this and their effort in this field of odonatology is great so this covid pandemic time is one of the best time for all of us to connect with the nature and to observe these wonderful creatures dragon and damselflies thank you all for watching this video subscribe the channel and please share this